I'm with the CEO of the Titans. Tell us what you think about the NFL's largest installation for the draft ever. I mean, this is the largest draft town ever. What are your thoughts well, about this? Well, the reason the installation is so large is because the crowd's going to be so large. I was just telling someone a minute ago, there are almost three times more media credentials issued for this draft than any other draft. Wow. We think we'll have 150,000 people, as many as 150,000 people here tonight. Uh, and it's going to be a great show and something that will create a lot of great memories for a lot of people. Have, have you ever seen a town so ready to be branded no, by the NFL? Isn't no. this something? Uh, I think as soon as they saw the uniform reveal last April, about mm -hmm. a year ago, mm -hmm. in fact, right. uh, I think that pushed us over the edge. They knew that it was going to be a great show here and that they would have all kinds of cooperation from the local government, from the Convention of Visitors Bureau, now, of and from our franchise as the host. Now, a committee was formed, no, excuse me, on this case, right? Actually, Say again? Committee, I think Tim Rivera was on a committee. Yes, our uh, local organizing committee uh, that helped raise a little over $2 million to help defray some of the expenses. You know what? A lot of police so overtime, a lot of public works overtime, a uh, lot of security precautions that were taken. Uh, game of the season, but the local the organizing game. committee did a, a superb a job, not just with raising the money, I mean, but building tough. interest in the that's draft and, and making sure everybody in the business community was on board. I'm going to ask her the same question. Get a Super Bowl here? Uh, yes. Have you probably uh, talked to any new players like Ryan Taylor? Well, we would certainly or, want to uh, host the Super Bowl here. I haven't. We've never made an application for a Super Bowl, mostly because of the weather. But our stadium can be reconfigured to seat 80,000, and it would be a great post venue for a Super Bowl. Can you dome it? Say again? Can you dome it? Or do you need to dome it? Because there's like the old requirements said dome stadium was over under 54 degrees, but I think about it, you don't need to dome it, do you? We, we don't need to dome it. Uh, there have been other Super Bowls held in uh, cold weather cities in the winter. Uh, we could do it here and pull it off. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I'll see you at the next meeting.